Hello lovelies, here's another banging illustration for you. Now this beautiful trending v-shaped dress consists of three dress pattern styles. Now the first is the upper part of it which uh, which is the yoke part um, the cup corset part okay so the middle part of it is the bust corner bust corset and the lower part of it which is the gathers or the pleated um, skirt part now you can simply achieve this style by manipulating your basic dress pattern okay you can manipulate your basic dress pattern um, study the illustrations carefully and feel free to ask Ask your questions in the comment section below now the first thing to do is to draft your full-scale bodies okay draft your full-scale bodies as seen so the next thing is you take your normal dots as seen you take your normal dots as seen this is just the basic dots okay so after taking your basic dots next thing is measure you measure three um sorry eight to nine inches from the hip line down to form the v shape do you know why we want to form the v shape the v line yeah the v line is important because we need to um we need to get the v part of the front block okay so now look at where my um, arrow is pointing at that is the v line okay so you draw a straight line or horizontal line there indicating the v line okay so next thing to do is to close the side okay the side of the um of the dress as seen so close the side as seen you can see where the arrow is pointing out so you close it up so automatically this makes the basic bodies longer okay don't bother why it is longer because we need to draft out the V part of the dress. So next is label each line as seen. So the first line, upper one is the bust line, followed by the on the bust line, the waist line, the hip line, and the V line. So now we go back to the bust line. Now go up by one inch from the center front of the bust line, okay? Go up by one inch, from the center front of the bust line now from this same one inch you um go in again by half inch this is because i want to connect the neckline okay because the shape of the neckline is v so now to get your v perfectly you draw a slant line okay as you can see that's the slanted line so after drawing your slant line like that so the next thing is to um Bring out the cup size, okay? So form the cup size by connecting to the on the bust at seam, okay? So connect to the on the bust just at seam. Um, so the next thing to do is go to the side of the on the bust and mark half inch above the on the bust. This is to give some kind of um, um, fullness to the um, to the to the on the bust region okay to the bust region so after marking it above the line as seen so next thing is you connect that part to the on the bust okay connect it to the on the bust as seen so you can see the the yoke parts of this um, dress has been um has been carved out so um connect on the bust to the side on the bust as seen okay um so the next thing is from the waistline look at the waistline so from the waistline below the waistline mark three inches below the waistline to form the v-shaped style line okay so from the three inch mark connect a slant line down to the center front at the v line you can see my marker pointing at the center front of the v line now slant it connect a slant line so you can see this is a slant line next thing to do is to cut it out okay cut it out so i'm gonna cut it out right now then 
so you can see it's already cut out okay so the next thing to do is remove the um, excess um, the fabric you're not using just remove it and you have the perfect front block so this is the perfect the perfect front block consisting of the upper parts and the lower parts okay that's the basque um so separate the yoke from the down parts okay so after separating the yoke from the down parts um so the next thing is get a fresh pattern paper and leave 1.5 inches for zip allowance for the back block okay so this pattern paper represents the back block so the 1.5 inches you're seeing is for the zip allowance the zipper allowance so um looking at this you place the front to trace out the back okay this is to help um, get things done faster so now to get the neckline for the back just measure 1.5 inches because the back neckline is gonna be um, a little bit higher you know the front is lower the back will be higher so 1.5 inches you connect it with a curve you connect it with a curve um, to form the back neckline okay so after doing this next thing is to cut it out so you cut it out and we have um, displayed here the front block on the back block okay so before i remove the front block from the back block all i need to do is mark my under bust line because i need to get the yoke for the back block okay mark the under bust line because i need to get the yoke for the back block so after marking the under bust line then you come to the side as seen then you also mark it because I need to connect these two lines together to bring out the back yoke. So next thing is I'm going to remove my front block so I can see my back block properly. So looking at this, you can see the back block. Okay. So next thing is to take the sway back effect because the zipper allowance for a perfect finished um, outfit should not be straight so what do i do next mark and draw the waistline for the back block okay mark and draw the waistline for the back block mark and draw the waistline for the back block now from the waistline take the sway back effect like i said an ideal back block should not be straight okay it shouldn't be straight this is to help remove the zipper bulge at the back so I went in by um, 0.75 that's three quarter of an inch and I removed the excess fabric so right before me I have the back block and the front pattern both ready to be sewn okay so the next thing to do is i need to slash and spread the front yoke now i know you'll be wondering why i want to slash the front yoke the reason is because for the bust to have some kind of fullness so this would give the bust some fullness okay so slash it slash the front yoke not the back yoke but the front yoke okay so as you can see this is the cutout of my slash and spread for the front yoke so after doing this next thing to do is simply place the yoke on the front bodies you understand next thing to do is to place the yoke on the front 
bodies are seen so as you can see this is yoke one and yoke two and next thing to do is to gather or pleat it so after gathering it or pleating it you can see it has formed um, some kind of fullness around the bust region because the bust needs fullness the bust shouldn't be flat okay the bust shouldn't be flat um, so this is what I have for the front and the back so the next thing to do is to get the lower part of the ruffle the ruffle so use the tape measure to measure your shoulder to three inches below the waistline you remember the three inches below the waistline mark we took okay so this is the shoulder point this is the shoulder point so from this shoulder point you take your tape measure and you measure straight down to where my marker is pointing at okay three inches below the waistline okay so uh, whatever answer you get from the shoulder to that part is um, 20 inches okay then from the shoulder you also measure full down to the v-line okay um you measure full down to the v line what i'm trying to do is to get the length of my ruffle okay the length of my ruffle so shoulder to three inches below the waist is 20 inches shoulder to full length that's shoulder to the full length where the v line line is is 34 inches so this automatically means that my full length for the ruffle should be 14 inches okay it should be 14 inches that depends on the height of the person and where you want the ruffle to get to okay so um 34 minus 20 is going to give me 14 inches. So this 14 inches is what I will use to cut the length for of my ruffle. Now to get the width of your ruffle, all you need to do is to measure the... See what my arrows are pointing at? You follow that and you measure. So whatever you get there, I got 25. So it's going to be 25 times 3, okay? So 25 times 3 is going to give me 75. So automatically, I'm going to cut a long strip of fabric for the ruffles. Mm, 14 inches for the length and 75 inches for the width. And boom! This is the final outcome. Can you see how beautiful this ruffle v-neck dress, v-shaped dress is? It's so, so, so beautiful. And you know one thing about this style? It's so comfortable, okay? It's so comfortable. Can you see how beautiful it is on this lady? You see? Check her out. It's so comfortable and it's a simple. You could use different necklines, you could use different um, style, you could use different neckline as the styles. Just <laughs> very easy to make. If you enjoy this tutorial, kindly give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more illustrations.